So Tucker Carlson just had Jeffrey Epstein's brother on his program. I'm gonna play just a short little bit of some of the interesting questions that were asked and the answers that were given by Mark Epstein. I will leave the link to the entire interview in the description below, but let's check out these clips. Do you think your brother killed himself? Not now, no. When I first heard he was dead from suicide, I had no reason to doubt it, so I accepted that. But then after the autopsy, and after Bill Bob made that asinine statement, I said, this was not a suicide. Um, but when you first heard the news, you, were not, you thought it was a possibility that he killed himself. Yeah, I accepted it as a fact. I heard it on the news. The government didn't notify me, as they said. I heard it on CNN in the morning of the 10th. And you're his only survivor. You're the only surviving relative. Yes, yes. He has no children and our parents are gone. And there's no other siblings. When did you start to think that he did not kill himself. Well, after the autopsy and the, both pathologists, the city pathologist and Dr. Barden, came out of the autopsy and they said, this, this doesn't look like a suicide. It looks more like a homicide. So what did you do then? Well, I, okay, I figured we'd have to look into this and see what's going on. Were you shocked that he might have been killed? Uh, it came as a surprise, yeah. So as his only surviving relative, what did you do to find out what happened to him? Well, I started to inquire about what took place. You know, the Justice Department uh, was supposedly investigating. The initial death certificate uh, said pending uh, when it said cause of death, which means pending further investigation. Yes. So, but then a few days later, it was declared a suicide by the chief pathologist who, who was not at the autopsy. And uh, the questions became what investigation was done in such a short period of time to make her determine it was a suicide, or was she basing it on Bill Barr's statement? So I'm gonna end it there, but know this. Once the chief pathologist rules that it is a suicide, the investigation ends there, because largely, once a suicide is deemed to be the means of death, no investigation will really take place at that point because there really isn't a need for it to happen, which is one of the reasons why the chief pathologist would do this. Even though they weren't at the autopsy, they may have been coerced into doing this or saying this so that the investigation would end there, which is exactly what happened. Now, there's a number of things that don't make sense. Jeffrey Epstein wasn't even in the computer database for this hospital. And some of the images of Jeffrey Epstein, they just look off. Something looks wrong. Like, like I don't want to say that it's it's not him. I don't want to go down certain roads, but it, it, it just doesn't look right. Like, like it possibly isn't him. Did he show up to the hospital? Did he not? What is he talking about with the cause of death that it's pending? Why did the chief pathologist who wasn't there at the autopsy make this decision? Why did they make a decision that would lead to no further investigation? There is just so many questions here. So what is the real answer? Was Jeffrey Epstein truly killed? Is Jeffrey Epstein still alive? And was somebody else put in his place to make it look like it was him? Did he ever actually go to the hospital? If he did go to the hospital and if he did truly die, did Jeffrey Epstein actually kill himself? Probably not, right? I mean, almost certainly not. And now that we're seeing some of the names come out, why is the media covering for some of the individuals like Bill Clinton? And why are there some of the names redacted on the report? Also, it seems like there's video evidence that's out there that is not being submitted either. But I think many of us have now come to the point where we expect this kind of protection for these corrupt leaders, even with something so serious as pedophilia. People going to an island to do these unspeakable things. How in the world is this not investigated to the nines and all of these individuals brought down because of the disgusting acts that they committed? Yet, they're covered for and they're protected because their leaders, their politicians, or their ideological values fit with the people who are ruling and running our world. Again, if you wanna see the entire interview, I will leave it in the link below. Leave your thoughts in the comments. I'll catch you on the next video.